Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about how to actually find your style and look confident in any outfit. I used to dress like this, and now this is how I dress. Uh, it's honestly have been an evolution, but I didn't always have the confidence to wear what I want. In the past, I wore a lot of t-shirts from like volunteers or from the clubs that I was in. I also went through a tomboy phase with my short hair and I literally didn't care about the clothes that I put on. My style has definitely evolved over the years and I find that, you know, developing confidence to wear what I actually want is the main reason why my style got better. So I think that if you have the confidence, you will look good in anything. Whether it's a t-shirt or some baggy clothes or a body con dress. Or a trash bag. You will still look good. My first tip for fighting your own style is to, of course, look at inspiration. I think that's the starting point for a lot of us. I remember when I first started getting into fashion, I looked at a lot of fashion blogs. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos, Instagram. Instagram wasn't really a thing at the time. But I think like, just like Google in general. And I find that after looking at like enough stuff, enough inspiration, you just find that you gradually gravitated towards a certain style, certain pattern, certain color. And I think that instinctively, we know what we like. Like, we just, we just know, you know? And I also want to mention that you should look at inspiration from people that share the same body type as you. I think it makes it a lot easier, especially uh, if you're flat chested like me. Because a lot of times in the past when I looked at people who are curvy and rock certain type of outfit, I would feel kind of insecure and question if I could pull off the same thing. But I started looking at people who look like me, who are skinny, who are small chested, and got a lot of inspiration from them. So definitely take that into consideration when you are fighting inspiration. Hi, I'm back. I know the lighting has changed a little bit, but let's just move on to my next tip, which is to look at your closet and assess what you already have. For me, when I look into my closet, I just instantly know there are certain pieces that I have worn like a hundred times and that I just absolutely, absolutely love and will like keep wearing them for basically as long as possible. So I'm sure that you also have your favorite pieces and that could be the starting point to figure out what your style is. Sometimes what I do is spending 30 minutes or an hour trying on different pieces of clothing and trying to mix and match to see what goes well together. And in the case that I don't know how to mix certain pieces, I would just Google it. For example, if I have white jeans and I don't know what white jeans could go well with, I would Google white jeans outfit. And I would see a lot of inspiration on Pinterest or Google or Instagram. And I would try to find pictures that include other pieces that I already have. From there, I learned how to make the most out of my closet and make the most out of the existing pieces that I already own. Another tip that I use a lot is every day when I get ready, I just kind of take a moment to like listen to myself, listen to my gut. And at that moment, I just know what I want to wear. At that moment, I just know what kind of vibe I'm feeling today. And from there, I just go to my closet and pick exactly what I feel like wearing on that day. So it's rare for me to like, you know, stand in front of my closet and sifting through all the clothing and don't know what to wear or feeling like I don't have anything to wear. I feel like that may be something that you may struggle with. I know that I have struggled with it a lot in the past, but now I just learned to just like, before looking at my closet in the morning, I just take a moment, listen to that vibe, to that gut feeling, and I just, instantly know what I want to wear that day. That certainly has saved me a lot of times getting ready in the morning, saved me a lot of time choosing what I want to wear on a certain day. I don't know if that will work for you, but you know, maybe give it a try and let me know. But I truly believe that we know what's best for us. We know what look good on us. So just listen to that feeling. You know, you know what you want. So right now I would describe my style as a little bit of soft girl plus athleisure 
plus edgy sometimes I don't really have a name for my aesthetic I just you know wear what I want to wear I just wear what I think looks good and what I feel comfortable in Recently, I really love wearing athleisure clothing. I discovered this brand called Halara. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They have sent me a lot of cute pieces that I want to show you. Their clothing are very comfortable. I'm wearing one right now. I just absolutely love that all their skirts have shorts and pockets. They're just so convenient. Whenever I wear them, I don't even need to bring my purse. I just put my phone in one pocket, my keys in another pocket, and like, that's it. I'm ready to go. I just love that I could run, I could walk, I could jump, I could be active without the fear of flashing anyone. Another tip to find your style is to wear clothes that accentuate parts that you love about your body. So for me, I love my flat chest, I love my long legs, I love my collarbones. What else do I love? I love everything about myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so I love my back too. I love my butt. Yeah, I do love everything about myself. I love wearing off-shoulder tops or dresses like this that show my collarbone, my arm, that show my back skirts to show my legs. I also love wearing bodycon dresses to show off my flat chest. Focus on the body part that you love about yourself and wear clothes that help you accentuate or help you show off that part. But it's also important to wear something that you're comfortable with. Something like Halara. Their clothes are both cute and functional and comfortable. I just literally, like I live in this dress. I live in their clothing. It's fashionable, simple, and it just makes me want to be active and go out there. I just absolutely love my Halara pieces. I've been living in them. I've been wearing them all summer. So definitely check them out. So now let's move on to how to actually have the confidence to look good in any outfit. I think my number one tip is to not care about what other people are wearing. Whether you go to school, go to class, go to work, or go to an event, don't care about what other people are wearing or maybe wearing. Unless that event has a dress code, then yes, you should follow the dress code. But other than that, just, you know, don't care about what people are wearing and just dress in the way that you want. A lot of times in the past, I would worry that I would be overdressed and that made me second guess myself and that made me just spend like an enormous amount of time in front of my closet. Still don't know what to wear. Don't be afraid to overdress. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to just wear the bold pieces that you love. Life is too short to care about what other people think, to not wear the clothes that you want. To me, fashion is self-expression. Fashion is fun. Fashion is, you know, a way to show the world who I am and how I want to present myself. How I express myself through my clothes is very authentic. How I express myself through my clothes is exactly how I feel on certain day. I take a lot of pride in my style. I take a lot of pride in how I coordinate my outfit and like I just love my outfit. I just love my clothes and I think that to cultivate that love and confidence you have to stop worrying about what other people think. You have to stop caring what others are wearing just do you. And honestly, people don't care. They're too busy caring about themselves and caring about what they wear. They're not gonna care that much about you. Like I often remind myself that nothing matters. Nothing matters in life. Um, and depends on the way that you look at it. It can be depressing or it can be liberating. It can be freeing. You know, if nothing matters, you can wear whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. and. You know, literally nobody cares. Nobody really cares. Things just seem much bigger and much more important in your head. But honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. You can have one certain style today and completely different style tomorrow. And like, life is good, you know? Uh, Keep doing it. Keep doing you. So just express yourself in the way you want. Wear what feels good to you. 
and don't be afraid to experiment and try something new every now and then. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.